We have a Yak 3 playing uh, J out and spawn back in. Okay, there he goes. He's out. Now I'm just going to wait here. This might be dangerous. There he goes. He's, he's, he's getting reset. He's, he, he's out already. No, that wasn't the plan. Okay, but I'll do it. Go, go, go. Ooh. Oh my god, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, so hot we got him. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a little different today. Uh, you're you're joined with me on my test flight. Usually a test flight is when I, you know, I see a comment like, hey, you should play this. Hey, you'll love this. Give this, you know, vehicle playing some love and I go try it out and see if it would. Oh man, that is a sexy cockpit. I got to say perfect for simulation or simulator battle. And then I go try it out to see if it's something that I would want to record for a video. So well, welcome to that. After we finish this game, um, and it's something that I would like to make a video on, we'll hop to the hangar and talk about this plane a little bit. But for right now, we are, I guess we can say we're in limbo. This will, will, this will go through or not. It's really nice to see LA-9s at this altitude. Or like lower, just, just definitely, definitely lower than you. Come on, 51, get out of there. God, those are mighty close. Okay, one LA-9 is turning around. It'd be interesting to see how I'm spotted with this LA-9 as he's in the clouds and I'm above him and behind. But he definitely sees me. <laughs> no, go away, go away, go away. Go away, everybody. Just trying to get that 51's tail clean for our team. Ooh. Oh, shoot. That guy's in a world of trouble. There he goes. No, no. He's still alive, I think. Okay, up we go. Shallow, shallow climb. Love these guns though. Gotta say the quad 50s are just a dream. Once you get them upgraded. At the same time, the shotgunning does help sometimes with the uh, dispersion and weird shots. Okay, I think all the LA nines other than maybe one. Well, that wouldn't be all of them. Down on the deck we go. Beautiful high speed performance with the uh, guns. Up we go, boom and zoom. I got to say one thing I like, I like a lot. Okay. That 15's dead. We've got three, four more people, three more people now. Can we get a blind hunt? Yak 15, is he on the runway? He just took off from the runway. We're gonna let him get a little bit further out so he can't turn back in so easily. Okay, there we go. Now we're going down. Let's say thank you. Thank you very much.
It's really good control. 860 kilometers an hour. Check our higher. Okay, P-47's got first digs. We're going to slow it down here. Okay, he's going to be a turning around, doing his little turn stuff. We're going to disengage. We got two. We got two. Okay, that's easy enough. How did it, what? I don't know. <laughs> I'll never know why. <laughs> I was going to pull off, but then I saw him kind of uh, neck on to the 47. That was beautiful. I like this plane a lot. I mean, a lot. You got to side climb early game. You know, you need that initial dive speed of 860 kilometers an hour which you can turn back into two three thousand meters of altitude depends on how you handle it that was wonderful normally my test flights don't go that well at all anyways guys welcome back to the channel my name's fly daily today we are flying with the f4u4b so over at least to my recollection please correct me in the comments if i'm wrong this was buffed at some point in the time it was at it. When, when it was first at it, it was par. Like it was good, but it didn't really have any quirks that you could really talk about that were good. Maybe the guns, maybe the dive speed. But uh, what we saw there was a great turn rate at high speed and great energy retention as well. Not as great as some other 5.7s or just saying, on, let's just go for... Is it 5.3? Yeah, the K4 has. So you can see where it it doesn't compete at the highest level, but it's above it's it's above par now. And then with that controllability at the high speeds, allowing you to do an aggressive boom and zoom while still having the dexterity of the pipper to hit your targets is, is wonderful. Oh. This is another plus with playing naval planes. Aircraft carriers. Oh, we have a, uh, a steam power catapult. Oh! Nice takeoff. And off we go. Welcome to Hokkaido. So wholesome. Just so wholesome. Look at this. Can't believe it's happening. Wow, that felt the same. Yanks. <laughs> the sad thing is, if you guys team up with me, we're all going to die. I have really bad luck. Please don't follow me. Those biddies are high. A little more pitch. Look at my uh, pilot to give maximum pitch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's got a really bad tummy itch, doesn't he, guys? <laughs> All right, come on. We're all adults here. Love how in War Thunder, the fighters can't even really escort the bombers because the bombers spawn way too high for us to get there. Feels, uh, feels historical, man. All right. Of course, they're nice and easy. Gain that airspeed. I know we're high up. Just suck in as much air as possible. Okay, we have the energy advantage and the altitude advantage right now. Got another guy incoming. Okay, and we're down on them. Come on, let's pull. 
This guy's locking up pretty good here for us. Tempest incoming. Let's watch that. He's not he's he's not locked onto us at all. Not enough pull, not enough pull. Go, oh, yes. Okay, 700 kilometers an hour of speed and the Tempest is locked on. This guy will be faster than me. Let's help. Let, let's see if we can turn so our 51 can help us. Okay, we're free for a little bit. We've got a, a lock from the Spitfire. We are going faster than him, though, right now. Okay, neutralizing it. Okay, I'm gonna bring him to my friendlies. Beautiful. That's awesome. That's really cool to see. Up we go. And we're not abandoning them. We're gonna support as much as possible here. See if we can bait. Okay, that is looking good. We turn in. Slow the engine down. Wait for another pull. Camera, help me out here. Left wing tip gone. And dead. Beautiful. Well done, guys. Holy cow. Is this an enemy? Okay, that is an enemy, but that's the guy we just shot at. Okay, good news. Well, bad news. Our, our bombers pretty much got taken out, but at, at the cost of almost all the enemy's altitude. So, other than this guy, I think, yeah, he's heading right for me. He's like, hey! That plane looks like he's going so slow. What are you trying to go heads up with? Oh, he's trying to avoid the F4U. By doing so, he put himself into a stall. Wow. That was a VK. No wonder it was climbing so well. That's a 6.7, I believe. Thanks for that bait. Oop, wrong button. Even though he didn't really bait him per se, he caused the uh, yak to go into an energy trap. We're just going to get in there as fast as possible. So imagine doing this in real life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, fighter pilots are fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, we got the mock meter and a prop. Beautiful. Uh, we can slow her down here. You still look at how much controllability I have. See this P uh, see this Yak 3? He's either gonna get killed by this P47 or me. I might try to go for this. Uh oh, <laughs> that convergence! Hilariously sad right there. We got two. We, we got another guy inbound. That was beautiful convergence right there. Okay, he's dead. Head on, maybe. Nice bait right there. Beautiful. Okay, two more guys left. Oh my gosh. That's that's one for the books. When I'm playing wing mounted, I have to be a little off center so I know my shots will hit at close range. We're only ranged in at 500 meters, which is a um, pretty normal 
gun convergence. Okay, back up we go. He's starting to roll. He's taking off to the right. No, there goes a, I think that's a faint. There goes a break. Get her back off it. There goes his J out for the F7F. Okay, there he goes. He's out. Now I'm just going to wait here. This might be dangerous. There he goes. He's, he's, he's getting reset. He's, he, he's out already. Fantastic mechanic, War Thunder. You know, may, maybe if they haven't resp uh, taken off in a minute, the game's over. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know anything. Wheels must leave the ground in a minute. I think that would be like a discussion to be like had. But the but the funny thing is they had bigger discussions about helicopters and supersonic jet. No Spitfire too early. No, oh, that wasn't the plan. Okay, but I'll do it. Go, go, go. Oh my god, we got him. Holy cow, this video is getting sent to War Thunder. Holy cow, what a pointless fucking mechanic. All they gotta do is that if your wheels haven't left the airfield in a minute, you lose the battle. There's no reason why you should sit on your airfield for a minute and play that, that cat and mouse game. Yeah, but we got you. He pressed J. Thought he was, oh, 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 I'm so special. Yeah, for you came for you. Where is his name? Yeah, wow, he did nothing that game. Hang on. You can never get banned for calling people vegetables, food items, or condiments. It's impossible. If you watch your profanity. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed. Luckily, we stuck it to that guy in the game. F4U4B is fantastic. If you have the altitude advantage, this thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Never get banned. It's impossible. The F4U4 is amazing when you had that altitude advantage and that speed advantage. But once that's kind of gone and you're versing a Spitfire or you know a 109 without that advantage, you're it's 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 hard to compete. You can, you have a good turn rate, but after two or three turns, you're gonna lose a lot of energy. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great one. Peace out.